Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. I hope you all of you are doing great. So today I am starting a series about Kafka. Kafka for beginners. This very first video is a course plan. If you are watching this one, that means entire uh, video series about Kafka for beginners is completed and it is just waiting to be uploaded. So let me show you the course plan for this one. This is the GitHub repository. Usually I cover uh, put all the things in Git repository only. So I have created a mark down here. Kafka, uh, I have named it Kafka learning series. So covering everything uh, in one shot is not possible because Kafka provides a huge number of features and we need to group it. We need to chapterize it. So I have uh, divided into a couple of chapters. So first chapter is going to be the Kafka for beginners. Uh, where we are going to see very basic of the Kafka and target is to have a, a, a proper project set up in your local machine and you are able to see uh, uh, the things running in demo. Not very complicated but uh, set up such that it is running on your local machine. Day 0, we always start with the day 0. So course plan, you are just watching this one. Day 1, we are going to see the use cases, what problem Kafka is solving. Day 2, we are going to see introduction to Kafka, where we are going to see the features, advantages, disadvantages and why it came into picture. Day 3, 4, 5. These 3, 4, 5 days are going to be the architecture of Kafka. You can see, if we are covering it in 3 days and each video is uh, about 10 minutes, uh, about 10 minutes. So there will be a lot of details. Uh, as of now, it is up till, till now, this is a theoretical lecture only, but you will get the thorough understanding about the Kafka architecture. So here broker, topic, partition, offset, producer, consumer, jukeeper, both without jukeeper. Latest version of Kafka, jukeeper is an integral part of Kafka. Uh, till now, uh, up to the latest versions till now, uh, we could not uh, think of Kafka without Jukeeper, but now we can think of uh, if there is, has been improvement. So there is no need of Jukeeper. So I have covered this in detail. Uh, what was the responsibility of the Jukeeper till now and how it is being taken care by the internally and what benefits it gives us. Because if there is no benefit, then why create a new process, let it go as it is. So there are a lot of benefits of Kafka without Jukeeper. So, Day 5 will conclude the theory lecture. So we'll have the demo. We'll see the Kafka installation with JoeKeeper. We'll see the day 7 Kafka installation without JoeKeeper and its details. Then we'll, uh, we have to interact with the Kafka cluster, right? So Kafka CLI is the one option that we can use. Kafka CLI uh, will have like a uh, uh, topic creation, sending the events, consuming the events, all those things we'll see into that. Then we'll uh, see the real world problems uh, java project setup very basic configurations uh, very easy to do this one on your local machine there is a step by step uh, explanation i and highly suggest you to do that in local machine only then it will give you the complete benefit not watching will give you the complete benefit okay so do that in your local machine because it's really easy to set up Day 10 will be uh, first, day 9 will be the architecture uh, like uh, Java project setup to interact with the Kafka cluster. Then Java project will write the producer. Then day 11 will write the consumer and will execute that one. Then day 12, uh, when we have this uh, Java, uh, Java project interaction with the Kafka ready, we'll see the advanced Kafka configuration for the performance optimization. We'll cover that. Day 13, we'll see one more project. So as many as projects you do, it, it will give you the more and more benefits and more, more understanding. So one more real-time industry-based project uh, that will show you the architecture of this one. Then the first component, there will be file processing, we will read the file, filter the data and we will put that into Kafka topic. Day 15 will create the different Kafka topics that is needed in this project architecture. Day 16 will cover the uh, consuming uh, the data from the topics that you have pushed in the previous uh, previous days. Day 17 in itself will be, so day 16 will uh, conclude the project. Uh, so only three days you will have a complete running project, a realistic project. Okay. Uh, so it's just about the differences, the business logic, but uh, all other architecture and framework will be in place. Then day 17 will be created auto creation uh, of the topic in the Kafka cluster. This is yet another feature that will talk more about it. This is very important Kafka monitoring. Kafka cluster have lots of details, topics, partition, offset and whole lot of things. 
monitoring is a very important part so how easily and quickly you can monitor that kafka cluster to debug the issues and all that is very important so we'll cover the monitoring also day 19 kafka cluster till now whatever we have done we have done with one broker single broker single node we try but to get the actual benefit of the Kafka, you have to have a cluster, multiple brokers running on multiple machines. So I try to simulate that on single machine, multiple brokers in day 19. Day 20 will conclude with uh, this chapter one, uh, Kafka for beginners and will uh, tell you what is next about this one. Okay, because as I told, Kafka has a lot of things to offer and how we can cover it. So this chapter one is going to give you the thorough understanding about the Kafka basics and it will prepare you for the next steps okay so i hope you will get it informative i'll be waiting for your feedback and comments on that one any point of time in following the tutorials and all that you face any issue just go to the comment section and put that i'll try to reply that my target is that you have a proper understanding around this without any issues so this mind map also I have created so you can see i will post this image also you can take a screenshot of this one kafka learning series chapter one this is the day zero one two three just 20 uh, days of plan to learn the kafka uh, the reason for dividing into day one two three so i so i want to make it like a, a give you brief like a short plan that you can follow a couple of days because consistency is important you can cover it all of these in a single day or in couple of days only it's, it's your choice and your speed that you, you can uh, grasp how many things but consistency is important so minimum you can give it like 30 40 minutes per day including demo because the videos will be hardly 10 15 minutes each one so but demo you it will take time so i want you to like uh, re-watch the videos or uh, set up your uh, local machine so that you can get it running okay so chapter one will conclude this one you can take a screenshot so that you can get a picture what it is offering so from the next one from uh, next day you will see the videos uploaded for the day one that is use cases and this one oh, so I, I wish you all the best for this uh, kafka learning series